Uh, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to teach you how to sharpen an image in Adobe Photoshop. But before I start, I want to mention something small. Um, so in this image, this is my original image uh, without anything on it. If you want to learn how to perform skin retouching the way I've done it here, how to whiten the eyes and teeth, please make sure you check my other videos. Also, before you we continue, please make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to teach you amazing stuff. So, thank you. So, uh, sharpening an image should be the last step once you're done with all your edits in Photoshop. So, uh, you can see it makes a difference. This is my before and this is my after. So, what I want to do, I want to delete my sharpness layer here. So uh, when you want to sharpen your image, you make sure you select all the layers right here except the original background layer. So I'll select my, here I have only two layers. So I'll select my two layers. If you have three layers, just select three layers. If you have four, if you have one layer, just select it. Then hold CTRL and drag it here to create a new group, okay? So you have group one there. So you duplicate group one and you can name it sharpening. So once you've done that, um, you want to make this group a layer. So what we're going to do, we'll go to layer and we are going to merge group or you can press control E, okay, merge group. So we now have our layer here. So what we want to do now, we want to sharpen the image. You go to filter, other, hypers. So here, you'll adjust the slider so that you have only the outline of the image. You don't want to have all the, you just want the outline of the image. There's no particular value you should put. Just make sure you, you increase or reduce the slider until you have only the, only the outline of the model space or if it's a full photo, the, the outline of the model's clothing, yeah, so for my image, I think 2.3 will work and I'll say OK. Then I'll come to the blending mode and I'll select vivid light. You can see if I use linear light, there's high amount of sharpening, vivid light, medium, we have hard light, but always make sure you select vivid light, it's the best. So you have the, this is the before and this is the after. So if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and I'll, and subscribe. I'll create more content for you. Uh, also, if this sharpening is too much for you, you can always reduce the opacity right here. Just like that. So that's it, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.